the Maths Prof and today I'm going to show you how to calculate the mean, median, mode and the range when you're given something called a frequency table. So hopefully you already know how to work out these averages when you're given just a small list of numbers. Well, when that list gets really, really long, it's not very practical to write that massive list out. So that's when we start using frequency tables. So in this example, we have a dice and we roll that dice 50 times and the scores on that dice are recorded in this table. So this just means the number one when we rolled the dice appeared eight times, the number two appeared 11 times, the number three appeared five times and so on. So if you were writing all these numbers out it would be like saying there are eight number ones, there are 11 number twos, well, already I'm getting fed up writing out all those scores. So that's why we use a frequency table to make our life a lot easier and you're less likely to make a mistake if you're writing it in a frequency table. So remember what mean is. Mean is when you add all these together and you divide by however many numbers that are in that list. Well, here we've got 8 lots of 1, 11 lots of 2 and 5 lots of 3. It's like adding the number 1 8 times, then adding num number 2 11 times and so on. Well that's a bit long. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the number 1 by 8, because that's the same as adding 1 8 times. Then you're going to plus and you're going to do the same with these. You're going to multiply the number 2 by 11. And then you'll do the same with this next column here. You'll multiply the number three by the number five, the frequency, and so on. So you go all the way through your table doing that same thing. So I'm just going to finish writing that out. Okay, so you're doing this number times this one, this one times this one, this one times this one. And in between, you have to add them. So that's the equivalent of adding all 50 numbers together in that list. It's the same thing. So all that's left to do afterwards is to divide by however many results there are. Well, we know we rolled the dice 50 times, so there should be 50 scores. So we're dividing by the number 50. So put that big calculation in your calculator. If you don't use the fraction button and you're using that divide symbol instead, just make sure that you put brackets around that numerator part so that you're dividing all of it by 50 and not just the end number. So put that in your calculator. If you've got your calculator handy, you can do it at the same time. And that gives me, let's work this out. It gives me a decimal. It gives me 3.52. So that is the mean average for the scores when I roll the dice 50 times. Okay, so that makes sense because the smallest score is 1 and the largest score is 6 and this falls somewhere in between. Okay, so it has to fall somewhere in between the values 1 and 6, which it does. Okay, on to the next one. So the median. Remember, the median is the middle value. So if you were to write out all the numbers in one long list from smallest to largest, the middle one would be the median. Well, we've got 50 scores because we rolled the dice 50 times. So the middle of those 50 scores, well, if we divide 50 by 2, we get 25. So the 25th score is in the middle. But what you need to remember is whenever you have an even amount of results, like in this question, there will be two middle answers. So not just the 25th score, but also the 26th. So there are two middle scores, the 25th and the 26th. And we need to work out where they are in our table. So remember, there are eight number ones. So the first eight scores are in this column here. Then we've got 11 number two. So the next 11 scores are in this column. So, so far we've got eight plus 11, which is 19. So the first 19 scores are in these two here. And we're after the 25th and the 26th. Well, 
If I add on 5 to this 19, I get 24. So, if you like, the first 24 scores fall into those columns there. So, that means if the first 24 are in those ones, the 25th, the 26th, all the way up to 24 plus 9, which is 33, up to the 33rd score are all in here. So both the 25th and 26th score fall into here. So it was a score of number 4. So that's the answer for the median. 4. The median was 4. Okay, so on to the mode. Remember mode is the most frequent. Well, these are the frequencies here. So the one with the highest frequency is the mode. So the biggest frequency is this one, 11 which means the mode is 2. Okay, so the mode is an 11. Remember, we're doing averages of the scores. So the score number is along the top. So the mode is 2. So the one with the highest frequency. Now for the last one. Remember, it's the range of scores. So you're doing the highest score minus the smallest. And the biggest score is 6. The smallest is 1, so subtract that numbers, and so the range of scores is 5. So there you go, mean, median, mode, and range when you have a frequency table. Just remember to check to see if your answer is sensible. All of your averages should fall between 1 and 6. Okay, and they all do. All of these averages here fall between those numbers, so they make sense. Okay, I'm going to do one more to finish. Okay, so on to the second example. Maybe you'd like to pause the video and have a go yourself and then you can forward to the end to see if you get it right. Otherwise, you can just listen. So in this one, we've got 35 students and they sit a test. And in this table, we have their test results. So all this means is that two students got a score of zero, three students got a score of one, five students got a score of two and so on. Okay, so these are the test results. So remember, to work out the mean, you have to multiply these two numbers together, then add, multiply these two numbers together and add, and so on, and then divide by however many students there are, which is 35. So I'm going to do that. So 2 times 0 plus 3 times 1 plus 5 times 2 plus 10 times 3. So I know sometimes you might be tempted to write down and work some of this out as you go along which is fine, but it's always good to show you're working out because if you, if you make a little mistake somewhere and you get the final answer wrong, your working won't be exact. But if you write it all down like that, you know you'll get full marks for the working out. So I do advise you to write down your working out. So put that in the calculator. Remember you're dividing by 35 because there are 35 test results because there are 35 students. So put this in the calculator. Remember, if you're using the divide symbol instead of the fraction button, just to put brackets around the numerator part, okay, just because you're dividing the whole numerator by 35 and not just this n number. So when you put that in the calculator, you get a decimal. It's 3.0285. So I'm going to round that to three significant figures. So I've got 3.03, because the 8 rounds that 2 up to 3, which sounds like a sensible answer, because the result ranges from 0 up to 5, and our mean average falls somewhere between those values. So that makes sense. Now, the median is the middle result, so the middle student, when they're ordered from smallest to largest. Well, they're already ordered from smallest to largest in the table. So we have to find the middle of 35 students. So this time, it's an odd number, okay? An odd number of results. So if I divide this by two, I get a decimal. So whenever it's an odd number, what you need to do is add one to that odd number and then divide by two. So for this one, 35 plus one, and then divide by two. So 35 plus 1 is 36, and 36 divided by 2 is 18. So we're trying to find the 18th student in our table. 
So just remember, when there were an even amount of results, like in the previous example, there were two middle answers. Whereas when it's an odd number like this, there's only one middle. And to find that one middle number, you use this formula. You just add one to the total and divide by two. So remember, to find the 18th student, we're counting these numbers here. There are two students in the first column and three students in the next column. So altogether we've got five because two plus three is five. Then we've got an other five here. So two plus three plus, plus five, well that gives me a total of 10 students so far. So I still haven't reached the 18th student. If I add 10 and 10, I get 20, which is over this number. So that means the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, all the way up to the 20th student falls into this column here. So the median result was three. Okay, so that was the answer to the median. Okay, on to the next one. So the mode is quite easy compared to the last two. The mode is the result with the highest frequency. So if we look along this bottom row here, the highest frequency is here which means the mode must be the number four. Okay, so there's the answer for that one. Now, to finish, the range. Remember, the range is the highest result minus the lowest. So the highest is five. The smallest is here, zero. And five takes zero is just five. Okay, so there's the range. Okay, so just like in the first example, always check to make sure your answers are sensible. So make sure all of your answers, all, the, all of the averages, fall between your smallest and largest possible result. So if you've got a really large value for the mean, like 78 or something, make sure your calculation is correct, make sure your times and plus symbols are in the right places, and make sure you use brackets if you're not using the fraction button. So that's finding averages when you're given a frequency table. There are other questions like when you're given a frequency diagram, but I'll cover that in another video. So that's all from me for today and goodbye.